Hello everybody, my name is Barbara Göbel and I'm going to give you a brief teaser of a paper which is entitled Let's Play Professional Views on Barriers and Potentials in Digital Gaming and Esports. The work at hand is part of the Streamit project, which aims to evaluate the potential of streaming and Let's Plays for educational settings and provides career orientation for gaming-based professions. In order to gather expert input for our project, we invited six professionals and semi-professionals from the gaming scene to discuss their experiences and to explore the following questions. For one, what barriers have professionals personally encountered or witnessed in accessing the field of Let's Play and esports? And for another, what educational potentials and support for personal development they identify in the field of digital play? What all of them reported was that the social environment led to their first contact with games very early on in their lives and that tech-savvy friends or family supported them along the way. All of our participants report that the contact to games happened outside of a formal educational setting. And while they have participated in projects at school and encountered very interested teaching staff and students, they feel that one of the remaining barriers to establish gaming activities in school is the remaining prejudice against gaming among many educators. In general, our participants note another issue, which is the need for a more diverse gaming scene and emphasize the responsibility of established gamers to publicly speak against any forms of sexism or prejudice within the community. Regarding trained skills, our participants report that they have come across various settings in which they have honed both the hardware and software related skill. For example, they ended up modding games that they really enjoyed or broken games themselves or even set up hardware at big gaming events. Also, there's a set of skills from the social and communicative area that are necessary for the everyday tasks, for example, public speaking skills or a critical reflection of oneself in a public space or as a public figure. Briefly summing up, our project aims to address the potential of bringing gaming activities to school in order to allow students insights into related professions, train various competencies, which are actually often found in contemporary school curricula or the so-called 21st century skills, and allow for a low threshold access. This is especially relevant for students who would not find respective access through the social environment. Of course, there's much more to discuss than three minutes may allow, so you can have a look at our paper for more information, contact me or check out our project website, which you can find via the QR code displayed here or the link on the slides. Thank you.